Let's talk about one of the sexual fantasies of a narcissistic male. Now, the irony of this particular sexual fantasy of a narcissistic male is that it oftentimes leads into a marriage or a dating partnership where the woman is starved of sex, of intimacy, of affection. And that doesn't sound right, being that it is a sexual fantasy, but you will see by the end of this why it leads to a lack of intimacy, a lack of connection, a lack of affection, a lack of sex. Now, I've already put a video out there talking about the four reasons why narcissistic husbands stop having sex with their wives. And that video damn near went viral. The response was off the charts as to how many women are lacking intimacy and affection and sex from their husbands. But now this sexual fantasy of the narcissistic male that I'm bringing up today was not included in that video. I do encourage you to watch that video, especially if you are a woman who is in a sexless marriage. However, this fantasy, oddly, is a reason that I did not stumble upon until recently. So I want to share with you what this sexual fantasy actually is, and then we're going to talk about it. Now, in order to share with you what the sexual fantasy is, I need help from the source of this type of sexual fantasy. So watch this with me. You get laid 10 times more when you adopt the mindset that sex is a reward for her and not for you. And now, this came across one of my Instagram or TikTok, I don't know, one of the feeds. And when I saw that, it just stood out to me as one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. And then I, as I was thinking about it more, I'm like, not only is it stupid, but it's one of the most estrogen dominant things I've ever heard in my life. It's like, what is this, this guy, what are the roles reversed? The men are becoming the women and women becoming men. I mean, is there something in the vaccines out there that are turning up the estrogen and the men? I, this is just weird. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I tend to side with John Mayer. The woman is the wonderland, not the male. In what world is the man the reward sexually? In what world? It just seems backwards. Many of you women out there have been married to that dude. Many of you women are dating that dude. And, and not literally that particular guy, but you know what I mean. The fantasy the mentality that their intimacy, their affection, their sex is a reward for you. And by the end of this message, I'm going to help you to understand why this ultimately results in you getting no affection, why it ultimately results in no sex, a sexless marriage even. Let's get into this. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I do continue with this very important message for you women, about the sexual fantasy of narcissistic males. I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box below this video, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls and video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. So if you are in a marriage where you are denied affection, you're denied sexuality, and you're made to feel as though it's a reward for you, head on down there and schedule time with me. In addition to that, I do have a coaching program my coaching program is live and in person each and every day. I take my time to spend it with you to talk about issues regarding narcissistic abuse within a community setting. Also, a part of the coaching program is Royal We Fellowship every Tuesday night where we open up the Bible and we take a look at what the Bible has to say about navigating narcissism in this world. And I promise you, it will blow your mind. And then last but not least, a part of the Where We Coaching program is Backstage Pass. Every Thursday night, I give you insights into what it is to be a coach. This is to help those of you who want to be healers, teachers, coaches, or perhaps you just want to learn how to improve your skills on social media or technically join the Where We Coaching program to gain access to Backstage Pass. Now then, I wanted to dig a little bit further into understanding where this idea, this fantasy, if you will, even comes from, because it is a fantasy. 
Mm. A man, a man wanting to believe that they are a sexual reward is a fantasy. Mm. From where? Where does this come from? Well, I thought since I found that guy giving it, talking about it, I'm like, well, hmm, he's probably a good source to find out where this idea even comes from. So I did a little bit more research, and here's what I discovered. I found the dude. Here, are you ready? My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star and former high-class male companion. For the better part of the last decade, I've been paid to get women off in the bedroom and... All right. Let's stop right there. So this dude, it makes complete sense now. This very strange, narcissistic male fantasy, sexual fantasy of narcissistic males, comes from the porn industry. Now it makes sense. I'm no longer surprised. The porn industry has been peddling this narcissistic fantasy on men for decades. That's one of the things that makes pornography so appealing is that a man gets to sit and watch as women fight and clamor over each other to rip some nobody's pants off and do whatever. And look at how this particular man frames it. He says, I am an award-winning porn actor. I get paid to please women. What he's not saying is that those women are paid too. And that no, none of the women are clamoring for his reward. They're there to get a paycheck. And for that paycheck, they will pretend to enjoy or like or look at him as the reward. The porn industry has been doing this forever. Portraying men as this sexual reward the whole time people watching pornography Fail to remember these women are being paid for that. Mm. And sadly, a very confused and lost narcissistic male will adopt that mentality. I'm the reward. Not realizing or forgetting that the only women who ever look at men as a sexual reward are women who are paid for it. This is why it will not last in a marriage. It won't even last in a dating relationship. And many of you, like I said before, are married to this type of dude who has watched too much porn, who bought into this idea that women are tripping over themselves to rip their pants off, right? Forgetting that, nope, sorry, only in the porn world, only in the upside down, delusional, narcissistic world of porn does this happen. Because the women are paid. Now, this is where it gets interesting because this is why it ends up with you as a woman or as a wife not receiving sex. You ready? The fantasy in and of itself is not actually pursuing you and having a sexual relationship with you. The fantasy is not in wanting to be physical with you. The fantasy is not in the mutual pleasure that sex can allow. The fantasy is not being with you. The fantasy is what? Let's all say it together because we watched him, that dude, say it. The fantasy is in being the sexual reward. Now you can start to see how that man will turn off the actual activity of sex and be excited and be filled in a very narcissistic supply type of way with the idea that they are a reward. And the more you ask for it as a wife, the more you say, I need affection, you're supplying that need that they have. That's right. I am a reward. And it's enough. Yes, some men get off more on the idea that they are a reward than they actually do experiencing the true mutual pleasure with you. I mean, to me, this is mind-blowing. I've just now had this revelation. When I saw that, and have ye after spending years coaching many of you women, hearing the stories, countless stories, of wives who contact me who say, I am with a husband who will not have sex. 
And oftentimes, sometimes the husbands work just fine. They can get an erection. But their response when the wife says, let's be affectionate. No, you don't deserve it. They're living in the fantasy. These types of narcissistic males don't need affection. They don't need true connection with you. They just need to know that they're a reward for you. And that's enough to get them off. In fact, they will probably go in the shower and masturbate just to that idea alone. The idea that they are a reward. This is what makes it narcissistic. Mm. Narcissistic people are twisted creatures. The only people I know in this world that are able to conjure up something in their mind that excites them and allows them to masturbate and get off on that more than actually being with their beautiful wife and really getting off with the two of your bodies together. And by the way, I have yet to come across any wife or woman that I've talked to that is short of just being absolutely beautiful. It it breaks my heart as a man. If I got a dollar for every time I had to tell a woman or a wife, hey, you can go outside right now in your neighborhood and there would be a line of men who would give their left nut to take you on a date, to pursue you. Listen, it becomes super important for you to understand this. If you are an affectionate woman, if you are a sensual woman, and you are in a marriage with a guy who looks at their sex as the reward that you just haven't earned, stop wasting your affection. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your life. One of the things I tell these wives or these women who are caught up in these really strange, upside-down, twisted, porn worldviews. One of the things I say is this. Not every woman is like you. There's a world full of people, and there are men out there that are absent affection just like you are because they're with women who don't enjoy affection or sensuality. The reason I'm saying this is because you have to understand what a gift that is that you have. It's unique to you. Don't waste it. Don't waste it in a relationship or in a marriage where you are abandoned and neglected because of some stupid upside down world idea. Yes, it qualifies as abandonment. If you are dealing with a husband who has this lame backwards, estrogen-fueled idea that... You haven't deserved sex from them. And believe me, it's an estrogen-fueled idea. That is not testosterone talking. That is an extra dip off the estrogen bus. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't know if this is coming from vaccines or if it's coming from the rain or if it's coming from the food some of these people are eating. I, I have no idea. But nonetheless, it's abandonment. You as a woman, as a wife, ought to be pursued, especially if you are sensual and affectionate. You deserve to be with somebody who values that, who honors it, and stop wasting it on somebody who looks at themselves, a male fantasy that's been peddled by pornography, that they are a reward to you, which causes them to push you away, to say you haven't deserved it. I hope that this video has helped some of you women understand what might be taking place in your toxic marriage or in your relationship. If this is you, I encourage you, stop wasting time. Head on down, schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me. I'd love the opportunity to speak with you. I do take telephone calls, video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. And as I said before, I do have a coaching program. It's live. And in addition to that, there is Royal We Fellowship where we look at the Bible together and see what it has to say and backstage pass an exclusive look behind the scenes of being a coach. If you're new to the Royal We, hit subscribe, hit the like and the bell notification so that you don't miss any future Royal We videos and watch one of these videos before you leave. I'll be back with more right here on the Royal We.